We have about four or five homes that were in fire, but I know they rescued some cats. I saw, I personally saw three cats, but I'm not sure besides that. I had Susquehanna spray out of the shelter. That's so right, that's right. when you come from the shelter, you, you love you, them all and you save as many as you can. So you had what, maybe 10 cats in that house? Yeah. Ten, how many dogs? Uh, I actually had nine. I he, had some he came across the street and said they had some caged animals. Could somebody take them in while they're fighting the fire? And I said, yes, bring them up to our house. And you can't see them out in the cold getting soaked or getting burned up in the fire either. I feel like a mother again. <laughs> it spread to adjoining structures. Looks like most of the fire on most of the buildings is on the second and third floors. I believe the roof did collapse in this last building. Um, everybody's froze. Uh, basically, as soon as the ice hits or the water hits the street, it's turning to ice. It's the icy conditions, the cold weather, that's going to take a toll on us. You're not there to help them. And, and just thinking about the terror that they go through, you know, anything else is replaceable, but they're. They just don't deserve to die like this. They deserve to die gently. And there's nothing gentle about a fire.